What primarily drove me into doing Alzheimer's disease research, especially therapeutic development, is because of the ineffective treatments that are just being sold in the market. My um, family, we have experience with our relatives, our loved ones who were affected and are affected by Alzheimer's. So my great aunt, um, she had Alzheimer's disease. When we were taking care of um, my great aunt, like she was prescribed with medicine, but it's not cheap. And she was prescribed that drug for, it was like for a long duration of time, but it didn't do anything. It didn't improve her condition. It didn't stop the memory loss. Even now, my grandma also has developed Alzheimer's disease and she's starting to show late onset symptoms of dementia. She's an amazing lady. Like growing up, she was trained to be a piano teacher and she still can play the piano, which is really impressive, but it's just, um, she doesn't remember her favorite pieces. This is like a picture of my grandma when she was um, still in her 20s, I think. She was uh, classically trained on the piano, but my grandpa was trained on the violin. And I think they met um, as piano teacher and violin teacher. And this is my grandparents. Um, we were on a trip, but this was before my grandma um, developed dementia. I guess it's more difficult with my grandma because I knew her as a person. It's a really devastating disease, both for the patient as well as the caretakers. I think the future of dementia research is quite bright. I'm very excited, especially with like what our group is doing because no one's explored using mRNA therapeutics in the context of Alzheimer's disease treatment before, drug delivery strategies to deliver drugs effectively in the brain. And that's actually the main problem with these treatments is that they don't get into the brain as easily as we want it to. Now it's, I guess like the motivation is especially important and especially more because of my grandma.